In this tech tip, we're going to talk about balance port TXVs. What is it? There are forces at work in a TXV. There are three forces normally active in a TXV. Bolt pressure, spring pressure, and evaporator pressure. In the conventional TXV, there is a fourth force acting in the TXV, condenser pressure. In a conventional port TXV, we have the evaporator pressure, the spring pressure, and the bulb pressure acting to open and close the valve. We also have condenser pressure, which acts upon the metering device to try to open it as the liquid is coming into the valve. On a balanced port TXV, this condenser pressure is isolated from the rest of the valve and therefore it works on the needle in a balanced or equal pressure, not causing any additional pressure on the needle valve to open or close. Therefore, in a balanced port TXV, the only pressures that we have acting upon it is the spring pressure, the evaporator pressure, and the bulb pressure, which gives us more accurate metering of the refrigerant into the evaporator. So the next time you are asked, what is a balance port TXV, you should be able to answer the question. What is the difference between an externally and internally equalized TXV? Keep checking back for more Tech Tips videos. We might answer that one next. Go to arefco.com for more videos. Like, subscribe, and check back every week for new videos.